Without objection. It is not a victory for the Senate or for any one community. How can we vote for a bill that our own Congressional Budget Office says will reduce average wages in America for 12 years? We've got in this group of American workers thousands, millions of immigrant workers, millions of minorities and African Americans and others at low wages. And this legislation, at a time they are hurting very, very badly now, will reduce average wages for 12 years, will increase unemployment, and will reduce per capita GDP for over 25 years? The senator from South Carolina. To the American worker, the biggest threat to you is illegal immigration. Tell me how it's better for America to continue amnesty, which is doing nothing, paying people under the table, with no regulation, how does that help the American worker to compete against some person who's being paid under the table? This bill stops that. It brings people out of the shadows on our terms, not theirs. You get to stay here if we decide you can stay. Madam President, I'd like to thank Senator Durbin. These are people who wanted to come to this country not because they wanted to do anything but realize the American dream. That's what they want. That's what they risked their lives and, in fact, gave their lives for. And yes, they did so illegally. And they're willing to pay a penalty for crossing our border illegally. But shouldn't we give them the same chance that we've given generation after generation of immigrants who have come to, come to this country wave after wave of Irish and Italians and Jews and Poles, and now people from all over the world. Shouldn't we do that? Isn't it in us to bring 11 million people out of the shadows that are now being exploited and have none of the protections of citizenship? I don't believe that the promises made in this bill will ever be kept. I don't believe we'll ever have an extra 20,000 Border Patrol agents. I don't believe the huge investment in technology will ever be made because it depends not just on this Congress and this administration, but future Congresses and future administrations. Are there sufficient... Mr. Leahy. Mr. Lee. Mr. Levin. Aye. Mr. Manchin. Aye. Mr. Grassley. The yeas on this bill are 68, the nays are 32. The bill as amended is passed. No.